everybody, it's Steve Verrier with Lake State Mortgage in the Florida Mortgage Center. Time for the Saturday tip for today. And, uh, you know, I, the spring fling uh, was, was just last night at the Methodist Church, so it's reminded me that you all are out there hanging out, spending more time in your yard. You probably got all of your flowers planted and everything like that now. But, um, you know, and I help people buy houses, but one thing we don't talk about is, you know, the landscaping around the house because, you know, we like to spend time outdoors, uh, but we have that sun to worry about. So it's nice to have shade and everything. So just like I'm under the shade of this tree, um, one thing you, you, you want to do when you're thinking about buying trees or planting trees around your house is you want to decide what is the right tree for you. I mean, they come in all shapes and sizes. They change dramatically over their lifetimes. Some grow tall, some grow wide. Some have extensive root systems underneath. So before selecting your tree, you want to get an idea of how tall, wide, and deep it will be at maturity before you select that tree and you know make sure it fits your needs and what you're trying to do you also then want to look around what's the right spot for a tree all right so you know that's just as important as what type of tree you plant you know you don't want to um, um, you know block a nice view but you do want to block an unsightly view um, you know that might be a priority or creating shade might be your priority but you also want to think about how your tree will impact um, uh, the environment around you. I mean, think about utility lines too, all right? You want to take the time to consider your location now because that can prevent uh, avoidable uh, and sometimes costly disturbances for year to come. Uh, don't forget, before you actually dig a hole for your tree, <laughs> call before you dig. You got to find out what's uh, buried already underneath. And, you know, I, I did that, my own personal experience. I did that. And yeah, there were no power lines or, or anything like that, but, um, you know, I bought my house and it didn't come with a, uh, a map of where the existing sprinkler system was. So, you know, definitely run your sprinkler system up and try and think logically and dig very carefully if you don't know where your irrigation lines are because you'll get a water spout going and that's going to add on an extra two hours or so to your process as you go and splice that baby, turn the water off and all that. So, um, if you don't know what's underneath the ground, make sure you call all right um sunshine 811 will start the process of getting underground utility lines marked for you also and make sure you call them ahead of time because they will actually come out and um you, you know uh put flags in and all that for you as well all right so it's a free service you can submit your request online at sunshine 811.com all right that's pretty cool service there so Hey, now that you found the right place, you've got the right tree, you're doing your part to prevent power outages and all that, now you got to think about um, pruning and stuff like that. So, you know, usually the, uh, the town or the uh, power company will come and prune trees if they grow dangerously close to um, any lines or anything like that. But you also want to make sure, uh, you know, you don't have branches overhanging your house. That's how the critters, easy access for critters to get into your home. Uh, so, you know, you want to make sure you take care of that and also, you know, Proper pruning helps a tree grow. So, planting the right tree in the right place can prevent the need for a lot of pruning as well. So, remember a lot of stuff to think about. Uh, call a professional, all right? They're here for you. You know, I've added professionals into my rotation to help me give these tips. So, uh, again, it's all about providing you good quality content and information. I hope you enjoyed the tip. Give me a call if you need any uh, specific mortgage related services. Love to hear from you. Take care.